What do you think you're doing, newbie? Just because the project is over, doesn't mean we get to slack off. Do I need to have a PIP discussion with you? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just joking. It's Friday afternoon and... We're the only ones here at the office anyway. Feel free to relax however you want. I know how much effort you've been putting in since your team abandoned you. And it's my job to keep track of the project after all. You know, I have an idea. If you want, maybe the two of us can get out of here a bit early. I'd like to talk with you about some other things. Hmm. I wonder, where should we go? Well, I was thinking we could head over to the park a few blocks down. They say being in nature really helps you induce a calming mood. Actually, I just got back from the cafe in the corner and picked up some of my favorites. On the way there, why don't we take a nice stroll and enjoy some coffee? I hope you're fine with a Spanish latte. After being cooped up inside the office all day, it's always so liberating getting these moments of leisure after finishing a large-scale project. The perfect way to recharge for the next one. Wow, not one to beat around the bush, huh? I didn't have anything serious to talk about, newbie. I mostly just wanted to tell you about how well I think you've been doing. It's admirable how much you've accomplished in your short time here with the company. You really please the top brass, not quitting, like your other team members did. Managing to even hit the deadline. Still, when the work was piled on to you. Hell, you even impressed me. But, I did not doubt you for a second. To me, you've always been a tenacious type. I, I meant... You seem to like the tenacious type. Uh, from your initial interview, you sure gave me a lot of details on how you would perform. Needless to say, they were spot on and then some. I never imagined having such a dependable and talented junior. The history I had with the others has been hit and miss. But enough about them. I'm here to praise you in the job well done. You have a bright future with us, and I was glad HR accepted your application after my recommendation and... talking you up at every chance I could get, even with limited experience in the field. I... Um, yes, after I saw your application and the notes HR left, I... I just knew you were the best possible candidate in that batch of recruitment. I needed to push them in the correct direction to hire the right kind of new bot. <clears throat> Enough with the work talk, though. Let's just enjoy the nice breeze and gentle sunlight for a little bit, okay? <laughs> hey.
Hey, look out. There's someone coming up behind us. Watch where you're going next time. I'm walking here. Can you believe that woman? She almost ran into us. How impolite can someone be? What? Are you taking her side in this? And why are you blushing? <sighs> Maybe you're right, but I won't let that woman ruin our nice walk together. Why don't we find a quiet bench to rest at? As we've been walking for a bit now. Hungry? All this walking built up my appetite. I always pack snacks for work in case we end up working late and miss a meal. Would you like one? I think I brought some of your favorite... I mean snacks that you might like to. Uh, here. Have one. Newbie, are, are you okay? You just got really pale all of a sudden. Maybe all the work is finally catching up to you. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. I'll call an Uber for you, okay? I don't think you're in any condition to try walking back to the office and driving home. There, you're free. I guess you figure it out by now, but I love you. I always have, and I have been doing my utmost best to secretly support you where I can. Why are you hugging me? I am a mess right now. My, my, my makeup is all ruined. My clothes are all wrinkled and my face is covered in dry tears. I... I was hoping tonight would be special. But I ended up breaking down like this. What do you mean? I... I look terrible. I'm not beautiful at all. And I'm a crazy woman who has spent years trying to be a part of your life. Just because of one simple act of kindness, you probably would have done for any woman. So... Why would you ever love someone like me? Are you sure you're not mistaken about your feelings? This whole time, I, I thought I was never going to, to be good enough for you. That I had to resort to this. That you were destined to be with someone else. That we'd never be able to be happy together. But you, telling me now, it makes my heart flutter. And I feel happy. Uh, 
I'm sorry I did this to you. I just couldn't imagine you being with another woman. I didn't want anyone taking you away from me. But I can see now that I was so focused and keeping the others away that I didn't realize we've gotten this close. I... I'd love to give this a try. So, if you're okay with it, maybe we can try this whole dating thing? Would that be okay, sweetie?